No. WFXR Sports. And welcome back, everybody. The Virginia Cavaliers, they extend their winning streak at home to 20 as they got the 65-57 win over the Virginia Tech Hokies here at JPJ tonight. We look at this ball game. Great news for the Hokies. Hunter Couture was back in the lineup after being out the last couple of games. Tech got off to a big start with a pair of three-pointers, but the Cavaliers led by as many as 13, and they got the run going. They didn't fall behind as the Hokies, they fall to Virginia Tech or Virginia in this game. I mean, it's, you know, we've been getting beat pretty handily um, in our games. And so, um, obviously, we at home, we've won all of our games. But, yeah, just to play, when you're struggling, you're just chasing, um, you know, trying to be competitive first and chasing quality. And, and there was more quality uh, tonight than we've had in a while. You know, to come in here and you know, put uh, so much into it and turn the ball over ten times makes it really hard. We had it pass along the baseline to Hunter uh, to go in down seven, which we were fortunate to do, uh, but um, certainly had put ourselves behind the eight ball. Now the Virginia Tech Hokies, they stay on the road. They're two and four in conference play as this Saturday they go down to Raleigh to face NC State in a game that tips off at noon. You can see that on our sister station, CW Virginia. While the Virginia Cavaliers, they improved to three and three in ACC play, and they're also on the road this Saturday for a six o'clock game in the ATL against the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. For now, reporting live from the JPJ in Charlottesville, Jermaine Farrell, WFXR Sports. Now for an update on the weather, here's our Chief Meteorologist, Patrick McKee. And it looks like we'll see four.